don't 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 go around saying Angie told you to do it because Angie fucking ain't say shit, okay? Okay, all right now. Hey y'all, what's up? Thank you so much for watching me on Glee TV where we talk about everything. And when I mean everything, I mean like, girl, it's been a minute since you girl turned up, turned up. And I don't think I'm gonna ever really just turn up, turn up like ever again like that. Like back in my older days, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna ever get on that level no more because the bitch is grown now. Well, I bitch been grown, but like... I got responsibilities and I ain't got time to be passing out on nobody club no more. Three times that your girl turned up way too fucking much. So basically it's gonna be three story times and one, I'm trying something different because like a bitch wanna try new shit, like duh. But before I get into this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Share with me your stories of a time that you turned up too motherfucking much. Like I know we've all been there, we've all done that. So don't be afraid girl, like don't be afraid. If you are a day one and you've been watching my videos since like way back when, um, some of these stories may be a little familiar to you because I have done other story times about these, well, some of these particular stories. I've done the story time, so I've already done the story time about. So um, and just bear with me. I'm just going to recreate the story, retell the story, but just in a little a smaller time frame, okay? So let's get started. Let me tell y'all something. This one was $2.99. Okay, sweetheart. $2.99. Alright, $2.99. Don't ever get it fucked up. Like, a bitch is cheap as well. Like, cheap wine is some good wine. Like, this bitch will get you fucked up. So, I'm gonna get you some wine. So, I've never told this story before. So, yeah, girl. Um, This happened whenever I was 18. Um, I have a friend, actually a really, really good friend. Um, um, she started, isn't this crazy? Because she started off just a, a subscriber. Like, she would uh, watch my videos, but she also followed me on, I mean, she was my friend on Facebook as well. Crazy because we were both the same age. Both were pregnant, <laughs> and we both were 16, 15 as fuck. So, um, we were able to relate a lot. It just so happened that she stayed in um, the city right next to me. I'm in Houston, and she lived in Baytown at the time. Well, she still kind of, well, she still does live in Baytown. But um, we became really, really close. At this time, neither one of us was like driving or had our own cars or anything like that. So, um, one of these weekends, we decided to meet up. Ain't no way I'm gonna tell my mom that a stranger from the internet is coming to sleep at our house <laughs> and chill with me like, duh, I'm not doing that. But, um, let's see. Her um, people had dropped her off to our house or to my house. And by the time me and her had already had our babies, um, this is whenever we were just a mother of one, all right? We both got three three motherfucking kids now, but we just had plans to turn up because we were 17. Well, I lied. Was, was we 18? No, we were 17. I'm sorry. Yeah, we were 17. So we were 17 and, you know, it was the summertime and, well, no, I'm lying. It wasn't the summertime. It was winter. It was winter. It's the beginning of the year. Um, the beginning of 2013, I think. We just wanted to fucking go out. So we had went to the mall that day. Got a little outfit, I think. And, um, you know, your girl, she, let me tell you something. Something about me. I always had a ride, all right? If I have a ride, bitch, I had a ride. Because, <laughs> like, I would always make sure I had friends with vehicles. Um, hence the reason why I like older people. I like to hang around older people because they had their own shit more than likely. So, I always had rides. So, my mama dropped us off to the mall. And we just, you know, roamed around the mall, did what we did. And then, I, I don't know who picked us up, but one of my one, one of my motherfucker rides picked us up. We got dropped off to um, another one of my associates. Um, it was a guy. He was a lot older than us, but he was um, having like a kickback or whatever um, you want to call it at his house. So, you know, I'm like... I'm about to say her name. We're gonna call her Ashley because I think I called her Ashley one of my story times before. So we're gonna keep this name going. So Ashley, I was like, girl, you trying to, you know, trying to smoke, trying to drink, whatever. She was like, yeah, cool. What's up? Let's turn the fuck up. So I'm like, okay, cool, bet. We went to the guy house. 
um, what was his name? I forgot his name. Well, his Instagram, yeah, his Instagram name had like something with coding in it, so we're just gonna call him Coding. So, Coding, we were um chilling, hanging out or whatever, and then people started coming to the, to his house and stuff like that. So, um. Mind y'all, let me tell y'all, don't follow my footsteps. I got a lot of young people. And young people, let me tell you, my stories are for entertainment only. And also, they are to let you know, don't follow my footsteps. So, don't ever get it fucked up. Just because I'm talking about something that I did way back when, don't mean I, I'm promoting it or I'm thinking it's cute or cool to do. So, don't get it fucked up. We were chilling. They started smoking and stuff. And then we were drinking. I forgot what we were drinking. I want to say we were probably drinking La Maritas because back then, that's when La Maritas were like really, really fucking popular. We were just drinking them hoes, and come to think about it, them bitches were nasty as fuck. Like, the strawberry one was so basic and so nasty, and it's like the taste just never fucking goes away. Like, I can taste it just talking about it. I had these pills uh, from my delivery. Jesus, forgive me. But I have, um, I think it was hydrocodone pills or Vicodin or something like that. Um, I still had some left over from um, whenever I had my daughter. So my dumb ass bought them or whatever, thinking I'm about to go turn up with it or whatever because I don't follow my footsteps. I used to take them just to feel, just to relax. <laughs> don't, don't, don't go around saying Angie told you to do it because Angie fucking ain't say shit, okay? Okay, all right now. Um, I we're just taking taking the pills just because so I ended up taking it with me because I'm like okay cool we could both pop these toes feel real good we're gonna be smoking and drinking any fucking way so the fuck why not and I told Ashley I'm like but you want one of these and they were just small tiny pills not big at all and she was like girl hell the fuck yeah because let me tell you Ashley Ashley's still like this Ashley's down for whatever bitch like she's down for whatever like even if she on her ass bitch she down for whatever so I give her one, I take one, and I'm chilling or whatever now. It was so many people in the place. I was sitting on her lap, and I'm chilling with my drink in my hand. We talking, we talking shit or whatever, whispering and giggling, you know, between each other because we don't even know who these other motherfuckers are. Only person we know is Cody, and Cody ain't, ain't nowhere to be found. So, we just chilling and stuff like that. And all of a sudden... I feel actually head go like this in my back. Mind you, I'm sitting on her lap facing this way, facing the crowd rather than she's behind me or whatever. And you know, I can still hear her or whatever, but all of a sudden I just hear her do this. I mean, I just feel her do this. And I'm looking like, I turn around and I'm like, bitch, are you about to knock me over? Like, what the fuck are you doing? So I raise her head up and she's like gone, eyes closed, mouth open. I'm like, this bitch was just talking to me not even 30 seconds ago. Like, what the fuck is going on? <sighs> Time to find out this bitch just passed the fuck out. And I'm like, oh shit, it's from the pills. But me, my stupid ass, I'm just, you know, I'm, it's not affecting me like it's affecting her. That's why you don't take pills, kids. That's why, okay? But it don't affect me like it's affecting her. And I'm like, oh shit, this bitch is fucking gone. And I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, I'm, she didn't came all the way out here from Baytown. And the fuck am I supposed to do? All right, I need help. Codeine and Codeine's friend, we're gonna call his friend Dreads, okay? And Dreads, he helps me with her. I was like, let's put it in a tub because for whatever reason, something just told me cold water. Cold water, cold water. I don't know, something, somebody whispered in my ear and said cold water. So I'm like, put this bitch in the tub and I'm gonna take care of it from there. So they put her in the tub and I take off a fox and I get in a tub with her and I turn on the, the shower, you know, thinking it's going to wake her up or whatever. And I made sure it was like fucking cold as hell. And so it was. And I'm like, okay, before I turn the shower on, let me probably, I don't want to get her clothes wet. So I had took her clothes off because I wanted to like wake her up. Like, I know, I know. I don't know, but like I had to wake her up some type of way. So I'm like, okay, let me just take this bitch clothes off and I'm gonna pour this cold ass water on her head. So I turn in the shower and I make sure it's cold and the bitch don't wake up. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. It's like I could tell she wanted she was trying to wake up and she was trying to talk, but it's like those drugs, honey, was just like coming in between her comprehend 
intensive whatever you want to call it like it wasn't clicking to her that she needed to wake the fuck up and so i'm over here freaking the fuck out i'm like is this bitch about to die on me because like how like I don't even know where she stayed at. Like, I just met her. <laughs> like, I just met her in person. And, you know, this is just not okay. So, I was like, okay, fuck. Let's bring her to the bathroom. I mean, let's bring her to the bedroom. So, I'm like, damn, this girl ain't got no clothes on. So, I'm freaking the fuck out. And they coming in trying to check on her or whatever. I'm like, look, I'm good. I got it. I really don't. I really need help. But I got it because she ain't got no clothes on. And I'm really trying to protect her her little goodies or whatever. Because, like, you know, she don't know these people more than I don't. So, I eventually, I find a towel and I put it around her. And I tell them, help me put her in the bed. And so... They helped me with her, and I was just basically up the entire night by myself because this bitch was gone. I kept checking on her to make sure the bitch was breathing, and she was breathing, and so I ended up falling asleep on the, on the couch in the living room um, by myself, by the way, and woke up, and everybody, well, the the crowd left, but it was still Codeine's house, so he was there. She ain't woke yet, and he like, nah, wake up, and... I had to, she hit me with a, one of those Wizard of Oz, like, what happened, what, what, what happened, and I'm, I'm over here saying, this is what happened, and he over here letting her know what happened as well on his end, like, it was just a, it was a mess, and to this day, I tell her, girl, like, you was told the fuck up, like, I thought I was told up, girl, at all, like, it was all her, so, yeah, that was one of the stories that y'all never told. Moral of that story is don't take no random ass pills. I don't give a fuck if it's prescribed to you or not. Like, it's only for you and it's only for you for whatever reason that they gave it to you for. So, just don't be spreading them pills out because like, it really, really could have turned out really, like, bad. So, thank God it didn't and thank God she's still alive and she's still turning up and stuff. But she know better now. So, she, I'm pretty sure she ain't taking no pills ever since then. And if she did, again, girl, power to you. But uh, I ain't giving nobody else no bold prescribed pills that's prescribed for me. Second story video, um, I did a full video about this before, but this is about the time my dumbass wanted to take a pill. This is whenever I was 18, and by this time, me and Ashley, like the, the girl that I told you told y'all about in the story time, we were all living together at this point. This is about a year later, so well, a couple months later. So we all 18, 18, 19, or whatever, and we living it up. It was me and my roommate's um cousin we're gonna call him b so we went to the um the place or whatever the restaurant i'll tell the fucking name because i don't give a fuck woofies because i think they got in trouble for the underage drinking so they don't do this shit no more but back when they did and and you know it was a lot of young girls too a lot of the young girls who was um working there so they didn't give a fuck if you had an idea or not anyway so shit hell they were drinking too so, um, we went there, we got a little drink, a couple drinks, and then the wait waiters, the waitresses, they were like, hey, I want to go to such and such, I forgot what the club was called, but, um, they were going to go to the club that day, I mean, that night after they got off work, so we were like, okay, cool, we'll wait till y'all get off, so we, you know, we drinking or whatever, drinking our little young ass lives, underage, away, and, um, they finally get off work, and so the two girls, um, uh, we had drove with them, or followed them to the hotel that they were sleeping at and why they were sleeping at a hotel i don't know not my business but um we um waited for them to get dressed and then we dipped out and so we did we have followed them to the club but whatever it wasn't too far from my house or my apartment at the time we went and you know club bumping you know i get i get a drink i get one of them drinks with vodka and red bull or whatever that shit was nasty as fuck, but I drunk that bitch because I was trying to get turned up. And I was so fucking drunk, y'all. Let me tell you, mind you, I'm not a dancing ass bitch. Like, I'll bop a head or two or whatever, but I'm not, you're not gonna ever see Angie on no dance before dancing. Like, no, no, I'm sorry. You're just not gonna see it. So, I was so fucking drunk, bitch. I was on the dance floor dancing and stuff. Like, <laughs> Like, I thought I was the shit. Like, I had my little, I had a custom-made hoodie at the time with my little Marilyn Monroe. It had, like, tattoos all over her and shit like that. It was, like, a dope-ass um, hoodie. And it was red, too. And red was one of my favorite colors, right? So, I'm dancing or whatever. And I see 
my homeboy B, he lighting cigarettes and shit. And mind you, a bitch smoked weed, but a bitch ain't pop a cigarette like the fuck nicotine. Ew, like no. But girl, let me tell you, I was so drunk. I was like, can I get one of them squares? Like squares, bitch. Like that's what they call them whenever you just you know smoking the bitches individually or are you buying them individually? They call them squares. Why they call them squares? Because it don't look like a square. I don't know, but I'm like asking for a square and shit, and he passed that bitch, and you know, I already got a lighter on me. I'm lighting a fucking cigarette in the club, dead ass smoking and shit with my drink in my hand, and then my my cigarette like this a motherfucking blunt, like, I'm really up there smoking and shit, and then, then, I see B, he pop a pill, and my curious George is looking ass. Like, what you got? And so he told me, he said, oh, this is an ex, and I got it from such and such. Why my dumb ass wants to go buy, buy one? Drunk as fuck. Don't know what the, like, never took an ex. Don't even know how to spell it. Like, I take that shit. And mind y'all, I had already been drinking at the, at the, um, the restaurant. Then I started drinking some more at the club. Now I'm taking up, popping up hill. Like, that don't mix, right? But I didn't know it didn't mix until later on. So I popped that bitch or whatever. I actually paid $3, I think, for either 5 or $3, one of the two. I'm good. Like, I didn't know that, like, the X feel, like, kind of keep you going. Like, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I was just trying to be cool with the Jones. It's like, I was just, yeah. So I take the pill or whatever. I'm still steady dancing. Like, I had a, um somebody I had met or whatever. And uh, I'm dancing on him. I'm like, girl, you don't even dance. Like, just stop it. But I didn't stop at all. So this particular club clearly stayed open until 6 a.m. So next thing you know, it's 6 o'clock in the motherfucking morning. And they making motherfuckers get out the club. And then it's daylight whenever you leave the club. I'm like, wow, bitch. Okay, this is really what you do now? Really? Okay. We eventually leave the club. And so... We get in the car, about to bring the girls home, and I just start feeling fucking sick. And mind y'all, well, I'm kind of skipping ahead of myself. If you want to know the full story, just go to the fucking story time. I almost died from taking the ecstasy pill. So, for the full story, I'm not even going to go back. I changed my mind. Fuck it. So, moving forward. We bring the bitch home or whatever. Excuse me for calling her a bitch. But we bringing the girl home, and I just feel queasy all of a sudden like i'm thinking okay maybe a bitch is car sick or something like i don't know but i literally like i tell b i'm like b pull the fuck over no i lied i didn't tell him to pull away just yet whenever we stopped at the girl's apartment when the girl who we were dropping off home whenever we stopped um i opened up the car door and i just immediately started throwing up like i'm just throwing up my, my goods oh my god can't throw up no more like you know one, one of those throw ups where you just keep throwing up and you can't throw up no more but you still like you know you still doing that like it was one of those throw ups and that was horrible and so i eventually made him stop at one point so i got to throw up some more because i didn't want to throw up in the boy car like, it was a mess, so we ended up going home. Mind y'all, everybody at my house is sleep as fuck. Like, I always had a house full of people. Like, always. So, everybody in my house sleep in the living room, in the kitchen, in the dining room, like, in the hallway. Like, people just fucking sleep everywhere. I get to the house, and I go in my bathroom, and I'm like, fuck, I'm tired and shit, but I can't go to sleep for some reason. Like, I'm up, I'm up, up, but I want to go to sleep so bad because I feel so fucking bad right now physically. And, like, I just want to sleep my life away. But a bitch couldn't fall asleep. Like, I'm literally in the bathroom, sitting on the floor with a trash can next to me, just hoping to throw up. But I couldn't throw up anymore because, like I said, at that point, I've thrown up everything that I could possibly throw up. Like, at this point, I was going to be throwing up my fucking esophagus. Like, I don't know. Like, why the fuck I can't throw up? But come to find out, you're not supposed to take that with alcohol well first of all you're not supposed to take it all take it at all period but you're really not supposed to take it with alcohol and i didn't know that until the last minute and then i didn't know that it was like a upper like it's because it keeps you up like it's not meant for you to go to sleep it's meant for you to be up for days pretty much and yeah the more i threw up though the more tired i got and i guess the more it left my system and so i was eventually able to go to sleep but 
never again i've never done that ever ever again since then like i don't mix alcohol with no type of medication like i don't do that anymore at all the moral of that story is don't don't fall for the okie doke don't take no pills don't smoke no cigarettes especially you know you don't smoke no cigarettes like don't be trying to keep up with the Joneses, with the Joneses and then you ended up being down there with the Andrews because your ass is fucking sick as fuck. Like, don't do that. So, yeah, that's that. That's that story time. Like I said, if you want to view that full story time, I'll probably, if I can remember, put the link in the description box below. That way you can go and view that entire story. I don't think I ever told this story. It's a really, really quick story. Um, it's whenever I experimented with weed brownies for the very first time. <laughs> um so we got some weed y'all we got you know i forgot how much weed we got at that time but um we got some weed y'all and i was like bitch i'm tired of smoking this shit like all i do is smoke it can we eat this mother like can we do something different with this like let's do something different so we get the googling and youtube and shit and we figure out how to make the brownies and we go out and go get some brownie mix and stuff like that I'm not even about to sit here and tell y'all how to make it because that's just wrong, right? <laughs> but we make that shit and it actually came out pretty decent. And whenever I say it came out pretty decent, I'm talking about for the people who are in the states where it's e where it's legal. Yeah, for those people, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't doing illegal shit like the fuck. So, um, we did that. We made the brownies or whatever, and it, it was really, really good. And the thing about that is you think you not really eating en enough or you think you're not getting high. But, bitch, wait until that shit hit you. You're going to be slumped. Like, everybody was in that motherfucking slump because the brownies were so good. And I think we had to put, like, little cream trees on the top of it or whatever. So, it was really fucking good. And, like, I'm an icing type of bitch. And, like, it, like, that icing really, really, like, put it all together. Like, it, it, it it was perfect <laughs> and so i'm like bitch I ain't, i'm just eating i'm like bitch i ain't high like bitch i ain't high the fuck couple minutes later like maybe i said give it about 45 minutes it was i could feel it everybody was able to feel it because clearly everybody was sleeping oh okay so this is what y'all were talking about okay let me go my ass to sleep <laughs> um but it was like a the type of high was it was like that type of high where you just want to sleep all day like you don't want to get up you just like you know if you sick or something and you just want to sleep all you want to do is sleep like yeah it was one of those type of type of sleep wants like I, I just I, I required sleep like if I didn't go to sleep like I felt like I was gonna go crazy that was definitely an experience I guess uh, for me to tell right now but like I said y'all if you ain't 18 and older and if you ain't in the state where the shit is legal then you shouldn't be mm -mm. no 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 yeah that was that story just a real real quick story but those are the three times where i turned up a little bit too much well maybe a lot too much but those were the times where i turned up a little bit too much and um yeah i think that's pretty much it i couldn't think of any other story times where i turned up a little bit too much i'm pretty sure i i probably got another story or two there that i just didn't talk about i just can't remember to talk about but um those are the main stories that stood out to me whenever i thought about it so share with me y'all stories if y'all have any stories where you turned up a little bit too much go ahead and put it in the comment section below and let me know because i would love to hear the stories because i just want to want to feel that i'm not the only one out here who made fucked up decisions in the past so let's just keep passing where that and just know that like i ain't on that type of level no more like i'm back and i'm better remember if you haven't subscribed to my channel already go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because you don't want to miss my next video girl and i will see y'all in another video or two or three well that'll make sense but just know i'm gonna see y'all in another video all right <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching i love y'all and i'm gonna see you next time bye